<clears throat> okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Um, I am at uh, Orchard, Lost Orchard. I don't know where the damn hell I am. <sighs> All I know is I'm in Virginia. <laughs> right now. Oh boy, I'm going to just take a quick walk up over here, why not? Show you the shelter. It's probably going to be really, really dark. Not much to it, but the name's going to be on it. Uh, it's just the thing, you know? I mean, uh, I'm out here hiking shelter to shelter. And every day, it's got a new name. It's not like I can always remember. Oh boy, oh boy. Old Orchard Shelter. Okay. Couldn't even find the log book. Well. I think this is the first time on the AT that I am actually going to be alone. Because there is nobody here. My friends are a couple shelters up ahead. And I didn't get back on trail fast enough to catch up with them. Uh, that's okay. I'm kind of enjoying the solitude a little bit. We got bear boxes over here. I didn't really want to camp that close to the bear boxes, but this is where the grassy area was at. So I set up on a flat area over here. And uh, from the inn last night, we had an extra beer as those two-hearted ales like the alcohol content on those was really really high i drank five of those I was working on number six and i'm like whoa holy smokes so uh yeah it's the first time i'm gonna be uh completely alone except a little drier thing over here uh my boot my boots are shot I think what happened is uh, drying out the Gore-Tex had caused it to crack and warp. And so when it, when it started raining, you know, I thought, hey, you know, all I got to do is, you know, keep the tops of my feet dry while water just kept coming in my shoes. And I'm like, what the heck is going on here, you know? And apparently it's just, it's coming right through the sidewalls. So, uh, new pair of boots is definitely on the menu. Uh, where am I going to get those from? I have no idea. Um, all I know is uh, I'm going to try and keep my feet as dry as I can. And hopefully be able to make it to Atkins in about uh, three days over here. So, tonight, tomorrow night, another night after that. We should be there. And because I said I was going to point it out, when we finally, when I finally found some, a really good example of it. Um, okay, so this is poison ivy right here. Now, notice the uh, kind of like, there's like kind of like a leader leaf, and then there's these two other leaves over here. And they kind of have like this lobe off to them, but see, is they're not they're not very sawtoothed, you know, and they're not smooth either, you know. But that is bona fide poison ivy right there. Ba boom, ba boom. I was gonna set up the tent right over here, so I thought, hey, this is kind of like a flat area, and <clears throat> well. There we go. There's some more of it right there. That 
is poison ivy. So some of my tent stakes would have <clears throat> might have ended up stretching over in there. And well, obviously you do not want that. Especially if you're susceptible to it. Usually it's pretty easy to find poison ivy on the AT, but last time it came up with my friends, I looked for you know, a good three, four days. Didn't run into any. Yeah, yep. We got here, we got a little bit of poison ivy mixed in with, maybe this is all poison ivy. No, no, that's, that is not poison ivy. No. Actually, to tell you the truth, I think the whole thing is poison ivy. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm looking at it, yup, 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 yup. It's got a pinnate leaf. That's why you really, really, really want to look, but that lobed, the two back leaves being somewhat lobed, is that's always the, the boom, boom, telltale sign. So when you do see it and you see that, take a good look at the pennate structure on it. It's not palmate. You know, and just really, really try and take that in. Is there are other leaves of threes out there, you know. Sometimes it's Virginia creeper, you know. It just doesn't have the, uh, it's fourth and fifth leaf yet. Uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff happens like that, so. <sighs> you know, this is what it's like when it's just me alone with my thoughts, so. I'm going to continue to listen to my lectures. They keep me company over here when there's nobody around. Yeah, this is, this is kind of when it gets spooky, you know? Right when you're finishing up your food and bears could end up coming around, you know? It's like, well, if it's just me and I'm making a bunch of noise, they probably won't show up. But if I'm just sitting here really, really quietly by myself, you know, it's too easy to just to not scare one one wanders into camp and you're like oh shit and, uh, hopefully he hears you a long ways off oh uh, yay half the time you're just too damn tired to even care you're like oh this bear is after me let him eat me up i, I ain't walking another step today <laughs> Yeah, well, if that happened, they wouldn't let people on the AT. All right, well, that's the video for today. Sun's going down. I got to finish this food. My goodness, eight minutes already. Me rambling. All right. Talk to you later.